too kind. Uh. Woo. Yeah. Woo. 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 Uh. Can I get an encore? Do you, you want, want more? more? Cook and roll with the Brooklyn boys. So for one last time, I need y'all to roll. One of the brilliant minds of the post-Civil War era in the United States, this video is dedicated to Lewis Howard Latimer, a true genius of his time. Lewis Latimer was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts in the United States to fugitive slave parents from Virginia, George Latimer and Rebecca Latimer. At an early age, while being employed by a Boston patent office, he expressed his interest in engineering to the superiors in his patent office by learning mechanical drawing and drafting through watching very meticulously how more experienced engineers would perform their work. Wanting to showcase his talent in a competitive post-Civil War era of inventions and scientists becoming the main drive of the United States' rise to a stronger country, he designed an improved railroad car bathroom and a very early model of an air conditioning unit. This led to him being recognized as a top inventor and draftsman and by top inventors of the era, such as Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. As a direct result of his work with Graham Bell, Latimer received creative credits for the first design of the telephone. In 1882, he worked with Thomas Edison and Hiram Maxim, the latter being a fellow inventor who designed the patent for the first effective machine gun, desired Latimer's help to contribute to the development of the patent for the Maxim electric lamp, and also helping Lewis to become well known for inventing the carbon filament inside early light bulbs. Because of Latimer's indispensable talent and knowledge, he was chosen to supervise and to help with the design of the installation of electric street lights in cities, such as New York City, Montreal, and London. Also becoming famous for being the only African-American engineer to work for Thomas Edison as one of his inventors, he served as an inspiration to later and even modern African-American scientists and engineers. As the author of Incandescent Electrical Lighting, a practical description of the Edison system, Louis Latimer cemented his place as a master inventor and a true renaissance man. Because of this, he will go down in history for his contributions to the development of electrical engineering and his work with some of the best inventors of the United States.